In this class, we'll introduce you to the SOLIDWORKS file types and point out specific details on each one, as well as speak about file extensions, icons, and exclusive tools used for differentiating each file type. There are three file types in SOLIDWORKS, part, assembly, and drawing. Each one is responsible for creating and editing drawings of part files, assembly files, and detailing respectively. The part file is the mode for modeling parts. The file extension is .sldprt. The assembly file type is for assembling parts. The part of an assembly can be part files as well as sub-assemblies required for the product structure. The file extension is .sldasm. The drawing file is for adding details to the design. It is possible to either add details to a part or an assembly file. File extension is .sldDRW. There is an exclusive interface for each one of these three file types, which is defined by templates. SolidWorks provides some standard templates. For example, these templates will be used throughout this course for part and assembly files. which are the standard templates in the SOLIDWORKS system. Then we'll use the SOLIDWORKS template and the Render Multimedia template for the drawing file types. Each icon looks different so that the image illustrates their specific functions as well as different extensions and interfaces. Now let's open each one of the file types to demonstrate their interfaces and standard characteristics. Let's begin with the part type file. Click New and then the New SOLIDWORKS document screen is displayed with the standard templates. Now if you click the Advanced option, then you'll access the other SOLIDWORKS templates and even customize your own templates. Then the selected template preview will be displayed. To return to the main screen, just click Novice. And then select the part type and confirm. See, the part modeling workspace is displayed, as well as the standard tools in the command manager. The part file symbol is displayed in the feature manager. Now let's open a part modeled in the part mode. Click Open. See how the .sldprt extension is enabled, as well as these types of files. Whenever you click the parts on the list, then a preview will be displayed on the right panel. Click Open. See now, the part is accessible in the graphic area, and the modeling data is displayed in the Feature Manager. Now let's click New and open a new assembly file. See how the Insert Part command is automatically enabled. Cancel this. Now see how the Command Manager overrides access from other toolbars. And a specific icon is displayed in the Feature Manager. Let's open an assembled set of parts. Look at the assembly data on the Feature Manager. Now let's open a new drawing file. Look how the detailing sheet is displayed together with the standard toolbars. Notice how the icons displayed in the Feature Manager completely change, as this is a 2D workspace for generating the drawing views. The drawing can be either in a part or an assembly file. Now let's open the customized Render Multimedia template. Look at the legend. 
We'll also open a finished drawing file. Take a look at the Feature Manager legend. It is possible to access each of the inserted views in the Feature Manager. So in this class we learned about SOLIDWORKS file types and their specific characteristics, explained how to use them and the importance of each one. Then, to get the most out of running SOLIDWORKS, it's important to know the differences in file types and understand their purposes and when they must be used.